Hello, hello and welcome to my fabulous tutorial where you learn how to export a texture to the source engine. So first I'll go through um, with the pretty pictures and stuff how to uh, how to do it and then I'll show you how to do it in practice. So uh, the first thing you'll need to do is actually save the file in the correct format and you can do that uh, by using for example GIMP or another program that you can use to save TGA files. I'll be using GIMP in my tutorial. And uh, so you save it as TGA and then you put that file into the material SRC folder in uh, your um, source SDK underscore content folder for the game you're creating. This might sound advanced, I'll show you later, it's pretty easy actually. So after we put the TGA file in the correct folder, you just run it through VTEX and this program will turn your TGA file into a VTF file. VTF stands for Valve Texture File. And it will also put the, this VTF file in the Materials folder in for the game you are creating the texture for. And um, when it has done that, you just have to create a VMT file, which stands for Valve Material File. And um, this file it will contain just a few rows of text that will say that this is the texture this texture is supposed to be using, and you'll, then you'll be able to use it in the game. It's very simple. So uh, let's try this out and uh, see how it works. So I'm going to create a uh, new picture here. And you need to make sure that the picture is uh, a good size, because the game can't handle any size for the pictures. So the sizes that uh, the game can handle is um, 1 pixel big, uh, 2 pixels, 4, 8, 16, 32, and um, then 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, and 2048 nailed and um, the width and height can be uh, different so you can have uh, 512 uh, in the height and 256 in uh, the width for example but I'm just gonna do a standard 512 by 512 picture here and uh, on my picture there will be a pink uh, pig for example Let's make a pig here. Fabulous. And there we go. Now I'm going to save this as... Um, and uh, I'm going to save this as a TGA, but I need to put it in the right folder for this to work. So I'm going to go to my Steam folder and uh, then steam apps and then my username and then source sdk underscore content and then the game i'm working with i'm working with episode 2 and uh, then material src and in here i'm going to create a folder called tutorial and now i'm in the tutorial folder and then i'm going to save this as pig.tga if you don't have any of these folders, by the way, you can just create them manually. And uh, you do not want RLE compression if you're using GIMP. And uh, there it's saved. So uh, now we have saved the TGA file, now we need to run it through VTEX. And VTEX is a program that you get um, when you uh, download the source SDK. And this program is located in your Steam folder, and then Steam Apps, your username, and then Source SDK, and then Bin. And if you're using Episode 1, use the one that is in Ep 1. And if you're using Orange Box, like I am, go into the Orange Box folder, and then Bin again. And uh, in here, there should be a VTEX, VTEX.exe, and this is the one you want to use. You can just uh, right click sent to desktop and it will create a shortcut in the desktop uh, because if you n make a lot of textures it'll be annoying to navigate here every time so anyhow I'm gonna navigate to my steam uh, steam apps and then my username folder 
and uh, then I'm gonna go into where we put the texture file and that is source SDK content episode 2 material source tutorial and there is our pig.tj so to run uh, the pig.tj through vtex you simply drag the pig.tj to the vtex or the shortcut to the vtex and uh, here you can see it says it exported to Half-Life 2 Episode 2 Ep2 Materials Tutorial and uh, so there you know where it is if you wanted to make this for Half-Life 2, just Half-Life 2 for example then you would need to start your source SDK and uh, make sure that your current game is set to Half-Life 2 because uh, as soon as you change this Half-Life 2 and export another texture, the texture will be exported to Half-Life 2 so it's the source SDK program that determines where the texture will end up and not in uh, which of these uh, folders in source SDK you put it so if you if I would have put this texture in the half f2 folder and uh, I tried to compile it and I had the half f2 episode 2 selected in the source SDK it would export the f uh, texture to half f2 episode 2 that is in here and not uh, the one uh, half f2 like I had selected here so that's quite important so now we have the VTF file created I just hit a key to remove that I'm hitting the key remove yourself okay I'm just gonna minimize that that's fine close source is decay and um, then I'm gonna go into my username and then half f2 episode 2 episode 2 and uh, materials there and uh, tutorial it created that folder and there we have our pig.vtf now we need a vmt file and um, so I'm just going to create a new text document here and I'm gonna call it pig.vmt valve material file so yeah just open this with your favorite text editing program and as you can see it's quite empty and uh, that is not how it should be so go into your materials folder of course I go into my material folder because I have made a texture before you haven't probably so I will provide a link to what you should put in uh, in the VMT file but since I ha do have made textures before I'm just gonna open up an old VMT file and copy this from there as you can see it's just two like two rows it's very basic um, uh, I can just tell you that this one determines how the texture is lit and uh, this hero, base texture, it just determines what texture it is so this um, file I'm creating here, the pig.vmt it will just basically point to and say that this, this uh, texture should use that file as its base texture and that file is tutorial slash pig as you can see if you go into the materials folder it just starts here so it's tutorial and then pig.vtf but don't have vtf after there and now that we've done that it should work amazingly it should just it should just work you know so start hammer make sure you have the correct game selected and of course it's maximized so I need to make this a bit smaller there we go and then I'm going to create a new map I'm going to browse for my texture I'm gonna search for pig and there's my pig I'm gonna select my pig I'm gonna create a brush and what do you know we have pigs on a brush isn't that amazing so my pig have a last uh, a few words it wants to, to tell you and that is that you should subscribe and um, it thinks that you look fabulous today and um, it also says that you should thumb up this video if you found it useful and maybe even favorite it if you really found it useful and if you're on ModDB you, it says you should click some kind of I button below it's I don't know it's some kind of track track me button um, yeah so anyways I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you want me to make more just write me a message and tell me to make more because I will get motivated and make more so thank you a lot for watching and uh, I hope you have an amazing just amazing day
Okay. So, hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.